Hi guys, I'm in the car again. Heading up onto the moors this time. Apparently there's a bit of a storm in the way, Storm Kieran, but where I am here, there's no wind. And it's raining just a little bit, but judging by the amount of water on the road, there's probably quite a bit in the river, so. Head up the Esk Valley and um, take a look. If you can see what's happening here, but at those railings there, the water's flowing back up, and every so often it surges this way. been talking to the guy in the shop there and uh, I remember being up here some years ago and uh, the guy in the shop said it was uh, the year 2000 this little back here it backed up there something blocked it and the river went straight across the road through the shop door and the gentleman who had the shop at the time had to open his back door to let the river out of the back door everything was trashed. I remember him being absolutely devastated, which, which of course you would be. I was so sad, but there wasn't a lot I could have done to help him. And this is where it comes out the other side. And it flows down into the river, down there. But that day it didn't, it flew through that shop there and I think that was his back door he used to live downstairs it's a tea room now and he opened his back door and the river came out of there and back into there there goes Tommy postman pats postman pats Guys, this is the um, stepping stones at Lee Lum. That stone sticking out of the water down where I reckon stands about four or five foot tall, so there's no way no one's going across any stepping stones today, I think. This is a stretch of river between Lee Lum and Danby, near a tiny little village called Holsyke. As you can see, the river's actually burst its banks here. Um, I've seen it a lot higher than this here, but it's in amongst the trees now. 
think if we get much more rain and, and we'll forecast some this afternoon I think it'll probably come a bit higher but at the moment nothing too much to worry about In the summer the uh, the river here is just like a tiny little stream really with big high sandy banks and um, I think there's a kingfisher there's a kingfisher nest somewhere around here I imagine it'll be in the bank but in the summer I sit here and watch him fly up and down watch it fishing it's just out over its banks here and as I'm stood here it's actually rising Don't want to go that way mate, really fucking not. He'll be back in a minute, or he'll be dead. Cause that ford down there is about 10 foot deep. Oh my fucking god, he's gone down to it. Hopefully he's back in a minute. Yay, he's back. Thank God for that. That's deep as shit. <laughs> Amazon. That's Amazon driver. Oh dear. <laughs> if you're getting a parcel in Leelom, it's on its way. Just as I was heading back to the car there, I uh, saw a white flash go past just over the hedge. Pretty good idea what I'd seen. I was pretty certain it was a barn owl. And, and here he is, look. Hello. He's ringed, isn't he? Look. look on his right leg. Now there's a nest box not far away from here, and I reckon he lives in there. Hello, my friend. Looking down, look. I always like to hang about near fence posts. It's probably somewhere where it's caught a lot of food before. Sorry for camera shaking. Haven't got the tripod out of the car, and this lens has crap stabilisation. Over there, somewhere, is where we've just been. Driving all that way around through Fry Updale, I've ended back up at the other side of the Duck Bridge at Danby, and it's impassable here as well. Water's well up, and the measure on the Ford is currently saying 10 foot. This now this is the Ford where that car got stuck the other week. Trying to drive through this. How crazy is that? If you haven't seen that video links up in the top right hand corner
So I finally made it to Danby. And now I'm here, I don't know why I came. <laughs> so I'm probably just gonna drive home again. Swear I just saw a crocodile.